Washington, a former leading fundraiser for President Donald Trump has been indicted on a charge that he illegally lobbied the U.S. Government to drop its probe into the Malaysia 1MDB corruption scandal and to deport an exiled Chinese billionaire, Elliot Broidy was charged in Washington federal court with one count of conspiracy to act as an unregistered foreign agent after allegedly agreeing to take millions of dollars to lobby the Trump administration. The indictment, made public Thursday, said Broidy was recruited in 2017 by an unnamed foreign national, understood to be Malaysian low-tech Joe, to pressure U.S. Officials to end their investigation of a scandal engulfing Malaysia's then Prime Minister, Najib Razak. The scandal involved the theft of over $4.5 billion from state investment fund 1MDB, and Lowe was allegedly central to moving and hiding some of the stolen funds. At the time Broidy was National Deputy Finance Chairman of the Republican National Committee after having been a major fundraiser for Trump's successful 2016 presidential campaign. After being recruited by Lowe, Broidy personally asked Trump to invite Najib to play golf during the Malaysian leader's September 2017 visit to the United States, the indictment said. The goal was to give Najib a chance to attempt to resolve the 1MDB matter with the U.S. leader, the document said. The golf game never happened, and Lowe was indicted in 2018 for his role in siphoning off billions from 1MDB. Lowe, who has also been charged in Malaysia over the scandal, has consistently denied any wrongdoing. His current whereabouts are unknown. In addition, in May 2017 Lo introduced Broidy to a Chinese state minister, and they discussed Beijing's desire that Washington deport an exiled Chinese tycoon, the indictment said. It did not name either person, but the tycoon is known to be Go Wengi, a prominent dissident businessman. According to the Wall Street Journal, the Chinese official was Sun Mei Jun, at the time Beijing's powerful vice minister of public security. The indictment describes Broidy's intense lobbying of the White House, the Justice Department and law enforcement on behalf of the Chinese, including contacts with but not direct discussions with Trump. The object of the lobbying conspiracy, the indictment said, was to make millions of dollars by leveraging Broidy's access to any perceived influence with the president and his administration. The indictment came just weeks after a key partner of Lowe and Broidy, Hawaii businesswoman Nikki Marley Lum Davis, pleaded guilty to a charge of illegal lobbying both on the 1MDB case and the Go case. Go remains in the United States, where he has continued to campaign against Beijing authorities, working closely with another longtime Trump associate, Steve Bannon. Bannon was arrested in August while aboard Go's yacht off the coast of Connecticut and charged with defrauding donors to a Mexican border wall project. Let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.